Whoa, 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 what's the matter? You all right? Oh, sorry, man, it's just taking me forever to edit this video because I'm using clips where the audio is from outdoor vlogging, GoPros and Rode microphones and my iPhone as well. So I'm just having to create the audio settings for each different clip and it just takes forever. Uh, so I just really need to get it done. Haven't you seen that audio presets pack I've just put out where you just download it straight off our website and then drag and drop the presets onto your footage so you don't have to mess around tweaking each different clip anymore? I mean, I've just spent... Oh, for f If you're like him and you've not followed me on Instagram or Facebook, I just want to let you know that I've released a pack of audio presets to save you time on your video edits. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import these presets into your projects. Make sure that you watch to the end of the video so you don't miss anything, and make sure you subscribe for tutorials and gear reviews. Now, I find myself wasting loads of time tweaking the settings in the audio, trying to get the perfect sound, or worse, one video would sound really good, and then the next video would sound completely different. I needed some sort of consistency, so I decided to make my own presets that would work on a variety of different audio Audio sources including GoPro, smartphone, the audio from the camera, mini microphone like this, a pro microphone like the Rode Mic Pro Plus. So no matter what you use, there's a preset in this pack that makes your audio sound professional, crisp and clear. Not only this, I've also included presets that work on a number of applications such as outdoor and indoor vlogging, tutorial styles, podcasts, being in the car, all with the option of male and female and dynamic and highly compressed versions as well. You can download the preset pack from my website, there'll be a link down below in the description. And also, because I'm feeling super generous, I've included a coupon code for 10% off the full pack. And I'm giving away the podcast audio preset pack for free. So if you want to see what they're like before you download the whole pack, go and download that one for free and let me know how you get on. But I promise you, you'll love it. You'll love it, because it sounds great. Right then, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how to apply these presets to your projects. So you've downloaded your presets and you've saved them to a secure location on your computer or your hard drive. The next thing to do is import them. So you open your project in Premiere Pro and then in the top right it should say Effects and then you go over to presets and then this gives you all the pre built in presets or any presets that you may have made before in the past and then all you need to do is either right click anywhere in this presets window here and go import presets you can also click on this little button with three lines on it and then go import presets search for where you saved your files so within the pack, I've made it nice and easy to navigate so you can find exactly what you're looking for really easily. So you just follow the folder structure. Uh, I'm gonna choose male voice and then just choose the application that you're gonna use. So vlogging, for example, that gives us some more options. Am I vlogging in the car, indoors or outdoors? And then you've got the option of which audio source you use. So if you're vlogging with a GoPro, select the GoPro. If you're vlogging with a smartphone, there's a smartphone option etc so within there you've also got two different types of compression options as well you've got dynamic and you've got strong and dynamic obviously gives you more dynamic range between the louds and the softs and strong is a highly compressed preset what that does is brings the lower level noises higher and squashes the louder audio uh, to make it more consistent and more even. So choose which preset you want to import. I'm gonna go for dynamic, click open. It shows up over here in the effects window there. So you drag in your clip, if you haven't already, drag and drop the preset onto the video clip. When you click on the audio and go over to effects controls, you'll see that it's added these presets here and it comes up with the name here as well. And then you can just go in and tweak any of these settings. If you find that it just needs a little bit of a tweak, you can just go in and simply make your adjustments there. So let's hear what this one sounds like before and after. And this is what a typical podcast setup would sound like. I've got the microphone nice and close, so it's hardly picking up anything, any external noise from anything else. And after. And this is what a typical podcast setup would sound like. I've got the microphone nice and close, so it's hardly picking up anything, any external noise from anything else. 
Yo, Future Sam here. I just realized I forgot to mention before to make sure you get the audio record level right before you start recording. Go into your settings in your camera and make sure you choose manual recording audio volume settings or whatever it is. Make sure that you set the audio record level volume between minus 18 dB and minus 5 dB. Somewhere around there to make sure that it's the correct volume for applying these presets. And that's, that's a general rule of thumb anyway, between minus 18 and minus 5. Some people say around minus 12, but if you stick within minus 18 and minus 5, that's a good range. So you're not getting any peaks at all, no distortion and no clipping in the audio. So that's a bonus tip. And then when you do apply these presets, the, the volumes, the compression and the EQ that's used will work a lot better. So make sure you get your volume right before you start recording. So let's have a listen to another example. Same thing again, it, right click, import presets. Let's go for a vlog this time and we'll do, let's do an outdoor vlog. Let's go with the mini mic this time. We'll go dynamic. So I've imported that mini mic vlogging outdoor dynamic. I'm just gonna drag this onto our clip and let's have a listen to see what this sounds like. So this is an audio test outside using the Rode Video Micro. That's the one with the little fluffy dead cat thing muffler on on the end so this is an audio test outside using the rode video micro that's the one with the little fluffy dead cat thing muffler on on the end and we've also got gopro right so here's an outdoor test with the gopro i've got the gopro hero 6 i think i think it's the 6 Right, so here's an outdoor test with the GoPro. I've got the GoPro Hero 6, I think. I think it's the 6. And smartphone. Hey everybody, I'm just working on some audio presets for everybody. I'm going to do a couple of YouTube videos on this topic as well. There'll be a pack containing loads of different stuff, really helpful. It'll cut your workflow in half and also make it sound 10 times better. So I'm really looking forward to sharing those with you. Future Sam here again, I keep forgetting stuff, but basically to help you apply these presets, rather than clicking and dragging the preset over onto each individual clip, what you can do is once you've finished your edit, select the whole video clip as one, and then right click and click on nest. That will group all of the individual clips and make it one long clip. So that when you drag and drop the preset, you only have to do it once and that affects the whole clip. So there you go, another bonus tip. Back to other Sammy. Now just bear in mind with these, there's no perfect preset because there's so many variables that contribute to the audio in your videos. Things like the distance from the microphone, the type of voice you've got, the exact setting, how much wind's outside if you're outside, preamps in your camera could be totally different, but this is a good starting point. So you put these on and it will make a considerable difference and it will save you time anyway. So it's a great starting point. But just bear in mind, you might have to tweak the odd thing here and there, but this definitely speeds up your workflow. Now I have made a video on how to make your own presets as well. I'll link it up here so you can go and check it out and let me know how you get on making your own as well. But obviously if you don't want to spend time making your own, just go and download the pack and save yourself some time. These only work in Premiere Pro. I created these in Adobe Premiere Pro uh, and it's a .prfpset file type. So please don't download these without checking if it can work in your editing program to start with. Premiere Pro only, if you wanna be safe, just don't download them. If you do want me to make some for Final Cut Pro or another editing software, I can do that. So if enough people ask, comment down below and I will make those for you as soon as possible. Or if you want to know how to make your own presets in Final Cut Pro, let me know and I can do a video on that for you as well. Or you could just all switch to Premiere because it's the best. Unfortunately, you do have to import all of these separately. You can't drag and drop into the effects window, which is a shame, but that's just how it is at the moment with Premiere Pro. So just do it one at a time. Don't, don't put them all in in one go. Just get, do it as you're going along. There we go, simple as that. I hope this video has helped and I hope you get a lot from this pack. Please let me know how you're using them. If you're going to use it on a video, send me a link to your video and I'll go and watch it. And um, if you have any questions, please, please, please comment down below and I will reply to you. If you like this video and you found some use from it, 
and you do like the presets head over to my website the link is in the description below please like this video subscribe to the channel so you get notified of more tutorial videos like this one and gear reviews and much more share the channel with your friends and stay tuned for the next video next week thank you for watching do i look weird with glasses on is that weird I look weirder with this henry the eighth uh headphone round round my neck right thanks for watching